Okay. Are you ready? I think so. This is the hardest thing we're going to do all year. To this point. Uh, arguably. I don't know. I, I would say hashtag it's easier than you think. Okay. So let's try it. All right. So we're doing mass to mass, which means we start with grams and we end with grams. You have to do some molar conversions in between because you have to compare moles to moles. So okay. we're three-stepping. Yes. All right. Is there a dance for that? No, I don't think there's a three-step dance. Okay. And we're back. Okay. So um, if I start with 200 grams of my sodium hydroxide and I tell you you have an excess of your sulfuric acid, which is the H2SO4. We haven't taught you how to name acids and bases yet. But this is sulfuric acid. So if I tell you that that's excess, then that means your sodium hydroxide is limiting. So you don't have to figure out which one's limiting. But if we gave you grams of both, you have to figure out which one's limiting. So you'd have to go back to the previous video to remind yourself how to find the limiting reactant. Right. Okay. Okay. So I want to know grams of water. All right. So if I'm starting with 200 grams of sodium hydroxide, I want to know how many grams of water you're going to make. So. First, we're going to do grams of sodium hydroxide to moles of sodium hydroxide. So, to go from grams to moles, we divide by molar, molar mass. mass. I was waiting for you to say, so. call on me, but it's fine. <laughs> so, okay, so what is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? 39.997 grams. Okay, and 200 divided by about 40 is? About 5.00 if we're moles. using our significant figures. Okay, so five moles of sodium hydroxide. Now, if I do my mole ratio for five moles of sodium hydroxide, I'm going to run out of space. That's okay. Again, I've got train tracks. Okay, for every two moles of sodium hydroxide, I make two moles of water. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, where'd you get the two and the two from? So there? the coefficients, that's the mole ratio. Okay, so we had to convert grams to moles, mm -hmm. and now i got to convert from moles of one thing to moles of something else. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so that's a one-to-one -one ratio. Two divided by two is the same as one-to-one. -one. So I have five moles of water. Now, am I finished? I know moles of water. Well, we got moles of water, but the question was asking for how many grams of water right. does that make? So we got one more step. We gotta do molar mass again, don't we? Right. Moles of water times molar mass of water. Exactly. All right, one last train so track. So for every one mole of water, 18.015 grams. So I end up with 90.1 90. grams of water. You always see that? like box your answers, guys. Remember, box your answers. Because when we start doing a whole lot of these calculations, it's going to be a lot easier for you to keep track of what the actual answer mm -hmm. is, right? So, grams of sodium hydroxide goes to grams of water. Perfect. Okay. That's awesome. So, let me go ahead and erase this. And I want to show you a big train track, one long uh, train track. So, we're going to have a three step all in one train track. So, this was how to do it all in three separate steps, which some of you may still be comfortable with. If, if you guys want to combine it all into one big train track, we're going to show you how. Okay. So I'm going to have to write small now. So 200 grams. And now actually we're going to convert uh, the grams of sodium hydroxide to grams of sodium sulfate, the other product. Oh yeah. Sorry. I left that out. We're going to figure out how many grams of this we make. Right. Okay. So 200 grams. And then I'm going to divide by molar mass, which was 39.997 per every one mole of sodium hydroxide. Okay, what's the next step? So I got to go, for, now I have moles of sodium hydroxide, mm -hmm. I got to go molar, mole ratio. Okay. So two moles of sodium hydroxide goes on the bottom, and there's just one mole of sodium sulfate up on top. And then there's just one more step. I've now ha now I have moles of sodium sulfate because already this is canceled and this is canceled. So I'm at moles of sodium sulfate. One more step. So I got to do molar mass of sodium sulfate. So one okay. mole of sodium sulfate goes on the bottom, right? Because I'm trying to get 
that canceled out. Mm -hmm. And then molar mass of it goes on top, which is 142.042. Okay. Look, you made it. Barely. <laughs> okay. So when we do all of that, we end up with 355 grams of sodium sulfate. So you can either do three separate steps or you can set up one long train track, whatever is easiest for you. Cool. Um, so that was the limiting reactant with sodium hydroxide and that's how many yep. grams of each product it gave us. Yep, and that is called your theoretical yield because that's how much you should get in from your In theory, reaction. I should get that much. And we're gonna explore that in another video uh, about theoretical yield and percent yield. Yep. Cool. And I remember um, just a minute ago, you were telling me this awesome inspirational message you had uh, for the kids. I, I don't know if you wanted to share it. Really? Really. I don't have one. I can't do that. I got to think first. So now you have to cut that out. I'm not going to cut it out. See you next time. You're such a